In this episode on Casper the Friendly Ghost, this is my W116 300SD, I want to talk a little bit about engine oil leaks. You know, there's three real common leak areas in these old four and five cylinder diesel engines. We've seen this so much over the years, and I would say of all the kits we've sold, these three rank very high in all time record sales because once again, these are three very common leak areas with these old diesel engines. So I'm gonna take a close look at Casper here and see if any of these are going to be a problem. And the first one is the valve cover gasket, right here. I mean, this is easy to replace and it's something that doesn't leak that often, but when it does leak, it can it cause you fits. One of the things you wanna do is if you have an old diesel is check and see how soft the gasket is. You can reach right down in here, put your finger on the edge and just pry it out. If this gasket has been recently replaced, it's going to be real flexible. If it's been on there a long time, it's going to be hard. You won't even be able to bend it. And you'll see little seepages coming out along the edges here that you see here. And in worst cases, you'll actually see wetness all the way around the valve cover gasket. Now, a lot of people think that all they need to do is just buy a new valve cover gasket and that's going to fix the problem. <laughs> Not so. I need to warn you about that. These valve covers change with age and heat and the alignment gets off. And if it's not corrected, when you go to tighten the valve cover back down, it's going to tighten down, but it's not going to squeeze the rubber gasket enough to prevent leaks. So I've done this little video on my website, which will show you how to go in and modify the valve cover. You should do this. The next time you change your valve cover, you should do this procedure because it can really guarantee a dry cylinder head all the way around that gasket. Now I'm looking down at the front crank seal. Here's the front crank seal. That's another real common leak area in these older high mileage diesels. And you'll see this right away by looking down along the front of the engine. You can look off to the side at the frame rails there and they'll be wet with oil. That's because the counterbalance and crank is flinging the oil out of the seal and flinging it off to the side. So it's pretty easy to spot a leaking front crank seal. You'll see drips right at the front of the engine, but if it's real bad, you're gonna see oil flung up on both sides in direct line with the front of the engine block, okay? And then the final one is this little gasket right here. And this one, I think I've seen leak on every single diesel I've ever come across. Not leaking badly, but seeping. And this has been a problem, I think, for these engines from day one because they take an aluminum, that's correct, an aluminum housing for the oil filler and they bolt it up to a cast iron block. And because of the dissimilar metals and the dissimilar rate of expansion and contraction, this gasket can leak. It's very high pressure oil going through there. And they've actually had to design a real custom gasket. But the problem is Mercedes isn't making this anymore. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in the video. And you certainly do not, and I'm going to repeat, do not replace the thin paper gasket that you see so many people selling today. You're going to be replacing it in the not so distant future. So now just a point of clarification, as far as these oil filter housing gaskets, this style of gasket was only used on the 1977 to 1985 model four and five cylinder diesel engines in the U.S. market, okay? I need to clarify that. This is the oil filler housing that sits up high and you put the filter at the top towards the back of the engine. But this one was removed from a 77 240D and I'm gonna show you the evidence of leakage. See that? You can get underneath and you can see the wetness on the bottom and then of course you can see where the oil and grime has built up. In severe cases it will actually drip on the driveway or drip on the floor of your garage. But I'm going to show you now why this is leaking and why this is such a challenge to prevent the leak in the future. This is a paper gasket and I'm going to poke away at it with these pliers. See that? It's literally rock hard. It's so hard, it's not even doing any sealing. And if you look along this bottom edge, you can see how wet the gasket is. Now, look at how hard this is. If I go to break it, see, it just tears like that. It won't even flex. And that's because not only is there a lot of oil pressure moving through this passageway here, 
but this is a, there's a lot of heat, a lot of heat generated from the oil as it goes forward into the oil, engine oil cooler. So you have a lot of heat on the contact points and this has become a real challenge to keep this sealed. So Mercedes came out with a special gasket and it's a waffle gasket. I'm going to show you the waffle gasket here. And if you look closely, you can see it has kind of a waffle surface on it. There's also a thin piece of metal in the middle. So this gasket has proven to work very well over time. It's not 100% foolproof when you're talking about age, but it performs way better than the paper gasket you see here. The problem is that recently Mercedes announced that they were no longer going to offer this gasket. And of course, when we heard that, we just said, oh, we got to do something about this. So we got to the original manufacturer of these gaskets and had them make a large special custom order for us. And we shipped these in the United States because we know in the future, if people are going to keep these old diesels running, this gasket is really, really important. I'm going to repeat. Do not use the paper gasket or you're going to be doing the job again in a few years. And this paper gasket comes with most engine overhaul gasket sets and it'll come from any vendor probably that you see on uh, most parts websites or eBay and so on. So we include with our gasket a special tool which is going to help you get that oil filter housing off easily because you got some bolts down in there here that are really hard to get to. We include instructions. We also recommend a couple of special wrenches to get the oil cooler lines off this. This isn't an easy job. It's not rocket science, but it is a little messy and it is a little hard if you don't have the right tools and the right instructions to pull it off yourself. But you can do this and you can save a lot of money. And I guarantee if you take it into a shop to have this gasket replaced, do not let them use a paper gasket. So if you need this gasket, be sure and check them out on my website. I'll put links in the show more part of the description of this video below. So those are the three areas right there. And so far, it looks like Casper is going to need a new valve cover gasket. And of course, when I pull the valve cover, I'll do the valve adjustment and check a cam and the timing change stretch and so on. So I'm not going to change that right now. But I got my mirror out, and this oil filter housing gasket leak is kind of hard to spot. If you get a mirror and a good light, you can go down underneath the housing and actually look down there, and you can see wetness along the bottom. And I'm just starting to pick up a little wetness. I may not change this right away. I mean, if it's real wet, you want to change it right away. But if it's just seeping a little bit, you can keep an eye on it. I'll probably do that. I got enough other things I want to do to Casper that I don't need to pull that oil filter housing off the engine right now. So I'm going to let that one sit. But I am going to go ahead and do the valve cover gasket. And I want to encourage you, if you have one of these older diesels, go out and check these three areas in particular, okay? Because once again, these are the three most common oil leak areas on these old four and five cylinder Mercedes diesels that will, were built up until 1985.